Welcome to the brand new Draymond Green Show YouTube channel. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our content. You have a free agency coming up this summer. And, you know, we're speaking of playing with, you know, you for the last 12 years, with Steph for the last 12 years and what we've built here. Um, things change. You know, the NBA changes. Cap situations change. This thing changed. That thing changed. As you go into free agency um, this summer, what's a priority to you uh, as you look at, you know, the next three, four, five, whatever you decide you want to play, uh, as you look at kind of the last segment of your career, if you will, uh, what's important to you as you embark up on that? I just can't believe it's here. Like, when you're... Uh... In your mid twenties, it's so crazy. You think you're gonna play forever, really, and you think you just maintain that athletic level that seems effortless. Oh, but then as time goes on, you really do realize how demanding this job really is, and it's so physically demanding. And I was actually struggling with that a lot in the beginning of this year because of the unknown, you know? I mean, I might have let contract situations or playing time or just using, making up a lot of excuses rather than just appreciating what is in front of me. And it took me and Steve like four real heart to heart talks to finally break my shell being like, you know what? I got to have fun this year. I deserve to have fun. Like we worked so hard to freaking win these games and play into June and uh, have fans on the road. I mean, my first couple of years, there might be a few Steph Curry jerseys in the crowd. Now it's like a whole contingent of Warrior fans on the road. It's insane. So I was kind of grappling with that a lot this year. It's almost like your own, own mortality as an athlete. Like, man, I might not be able to elevate like I once did, or I might not slide my feet left and right like I once did, but I can still be a heck of a player if I just give gratitude and keep that perspective. Like, I'm out here balling. Uh, because that was hard for me these last few years when, you're, uh, when you go through injuries and you're so used to playing at a certain level, guarding a certain guy, shooting certain shots, then you have to adjust all of that. That was the hardest part of my career. And it's still hard for me, you know, when I'm used to scoring 25 and a quarter, locking up the best player. Now I got to be pick my spots a lot more uh, just precisely, which is fine. I've finally come to accept, like, look, I can still be a heck of a player. I can still be incredibly efficient. And as long as I'm having fun and being a good teammate, and you actually helped me a ton when you're like, lean into these young guys, lean into the fact you're a vet, you made X amount of money, you don't have to worry about nothing, like you're playing for the love of the game. And I think once I realized that and I relax a little bit rather than trying to play for a contract or an all-star nod or some accolade, but rather just play for the love of the game and the fact they get to play cards with the guys on the plane. We're playing ping pong last night after the game. We're having fun. That's the beauty of the game right there. Not trying to get another max deal or another endorsement, but just smelling the roses and appreciating all the work it get, took to get here. And in saying that, when it comes to free agency in July, uh, I just got to keep that in mind. Like, yes, I want to resign with the Doves, but I also have to prioritize my mental health and um, you know, lay lay out what is important to me at this point in my career. And I know we have so much basketball ahead that I haven't given it much thought, really, because if I start thinking about July 1st, then I'm just doing myself a disservice. I'm not here. I'm not thinking about the Hornets tomorrow and these must-win games this weekend. So for me, it's just about staying present, as simple as that is, staying present and um, appreciating being the NBA. Because my Uncle Andy always told me, he's like, Clay, your career is going to go by in a snap of fingers. So just appreciate this life you live. It's uh, it's not a right. It's really a privilege. And, you know, Uncle Andy, he'd been around the game since the last dance. So that helped me a lot as well. Absolutely. Um, in, in 2019, uh, if you don't get hurt, do you approach your free agent, your whole free agency process differently at that point? 
That's a big what if. <laughs> That's a <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was um that could have been a definite possibility just because you're healthy. But at the same time, too, if I don't get hurt, and let's say we do win a we do three peat, it's like you're not walking away from that. That part. You're not gonna that hasn't been done since Shaq and Kobe, so I never would have walked away from a chance at stacking rings and uh man that was a crazy time that was the worst man you freaking you know how long it is to play the finals it's yeah. such a long grind and then like you tear a ligament and then you got to go right back to the gym there was no uh like vacation so that was a I was very grateful for my family during that time because I was just kind of lost without basketball and you know being on crutches and just having to build all that muscle back in my quad and the atrophy that was not fun especially after that five-year finals run we had that's a lot of it's a lot of uh just mental and physical wear and tear and I don't think when I really think about it if I was healthy and I don't think I would have really tested it that hard just because like it's hard to walk away from a dynasty that's uh um doesn't happen too often yeah all right, the NBA season is in full swing. Coming down the stretch, then we move right into the playoffs in April, May, and June. I can't wait. Spice things up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA right now. All you have to do is put down 5 bucks and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Pretty good trade-off. I pay 5 I get $150. North Carolina listeners, do not forget. Welcome to the party. DraftKings Sportsbook now live in your state, North Carolina. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. It takes 90 seconds. The code is Colin, C-O-L-I-N. Again, 90 seconds. Download DraftKings Sportsbook app. Put in Colin. New customers bet five. Get 150 back in bonus bets instantly. That is the trade. All right. The code is always Colin. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Or in West Virginia, visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope Y four six seven three six nine. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 and over, age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.co slash b ball for eligibility and deposit restrictions terms and responsible gaming resources.